Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'm the Mac, and today we have the Luan Melee. If you've been keeping up with the, the Mac lore, if you want to call it, you will notice I have not uploaded in a little while, and that is because, well, two reasons. Been a busy couple of weeks with the holidays and because of the chaos going on within AT. Chaos may be a little overdramatic, but that's just what I'm calling it for now. And as you can see by my deck, we do have a handful of lands, and we're actually just going to jump right into it today, and I'll kind of talk as we go. So let's see what we get. But yeah, unfortunately, in the Discord, there has been a lot of negative discussions about what has been going on, a lot of unhappiness about the current state of AT, all the bugs, everything that's been going on. And yeah, I can definitely understand. But starting off here, we have a Luan PC, which is not a huge deal. We'll just be doing a training Luan here. I got a Hank. That's Cigarette Addicts? No, that is a just mow a lawn. Okie dokie. Not too awful. Should be breaking through slot one. But yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it real today. And yeah, on top of the, the kind of negative sentiment going on within Discord... There's also just been a lot of chaos even within the arena. I know there's still a lot of defense deck stuff going on. There's still a lot of people with PCs everywhere, which is just normal. But everybody's condensed down to a much lower part of the AT League. So it's just making all the events seem much harder. And I know people are kind of fed up with the shows. And on top of the drama with, if you want to call it drama of Pong letting go or reshifting around people that work for the AT community. So I know that was going on as well and that drew some concerns. So overall, there's just been a lot of different things, a lot of different changes that has been causing some uncertainty. For me personally, I think it's just been the gameplay. I mean, even doing these events, going against a lot of opponents that are PC only, even from day one, as well as Going up against a lot of Clash defense decks kind of just makes the recording experience a little unfun as well as the gameplay experience. Mostly just because it feels like all the people collectively are trying to ruin Melee and Clash just to prove a point against each other, but it's ending up affecting all the other people that play. So it's kind of going to backfire a little bit. All the big spenders of the game are going to weed out all the little spenders and then the game will just end up going away because there won't be too many people left if everyone's unhappy. But there's still a good amount of people playing. I do check the Steam statistics, so I play on PC. You can check Steam and see how many of the average players are playing. It has been declining, unfortunately, over the past, I'd say, year or so. But, you know, there's there are still people playing. Uh, and just to focus on this match currently, we're not doing too bad. We're just facing standard King of the Hill deck, so not awful. We are getting PCs a little early. We do get Sales Rack for Craze. We get art here, but I think I think Derby Brawling Luan will be our best bet. So we're actually not getting too bad of RNG today. So that is something to be thankful for. So I do appreciate that. Uh, we can play Luan again. That's fine. So all that to say, I've kind of just been on a mild hiatus again due to holidays and just due to everything going on. In the community because I just want to see how things unfold before I keep committing to making a lot of videos especially if there's not as many people around that are still watching and if I'm just not genuinely having fun making the content because it's not always fun to go against like right now I have a bunch of Luans so it's not not too bad but if you go again a clash or melee and you've not really got a full deck of what you need, just going up against PCs and even on day one, I mean, usually day one is just kind of random decks, but this is full King of the Hill PC deck, which is, I'd say not super typical for the first day. And it's not too bad, but again, only because I have a full deck of Luans, not even fused Luans, just, just Luans. But yeah, if you don't have anything to go along with the Clash or Melee, especially the, the Hollows Clash that they're even rerunning, I mean, the combos are so bad there. There's not much you can really run that's going to be extremely effective. 
But yeah, we're getting a full CM5 King of the Hill deck here. So this is a very expensive deck that someone spent a lot of money on just to get all these. So, But to get this on day one, so imagine, maybe not me particularly, but players that maybe don't have as much, if they're just getting hit with this on their first battle, or even if it's, they don't even have to be at level 20, because I'm pretty sure there's PCs all over the ladder now, because so many people have gotten uh, deranked, not even deranked, but they just got the 500 decay, that now they sit much lower, so they kind of mess with people at lower brackets, because not everyone's going to grind uh, back every season. Uh, we got a photographer, Klaus. I think we'll just do one man band, just since we pulled it, because they're going to plop. Yeah, I was going to say, they're going to probably play another photographer, Klaus. Yeah, they got PCs going on. We kind of need to... I need to break through a little bit. We're just skipping here. I think this cripples it down. It does, that's good. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and take another Derby Brawling Luan. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this. Those two slots should be gassed, which is good. We have Punch. Punch is actually probably that 21. What is this? 24. That's probably good to get on the board. Get some Punch. Get another Luan. Uh, let's see. Sales Rack. It does have Craze. It'll have more than it can hijack here. But it'll probably just get crippled down. Well, these first couple slots are still going to gas and break through, so I think we'll just play a training Luan for more punch to help out with that. Let's see what we got here. That'll get gassed, or that's already gassed. This one's gassed now. There we go, the punch landed in a good spot. We're going to take a little motivate damage. Play another Luan. Actually doing pretty well against all this PK that's going on. Uh, let's see. Let's go another punch. Yeah, more punch the better right now. Use the gas to break through. Use the punch to finish some stuff off. Let's see where all this hits. Okay, not too great that round, but we're still holding steady. There we go, another slot down there. We'll do another Luan. Okay, we'll do, I guess this. Just get a little craze going, but I think we're close to winning here. Let's see. Okay, that one goes down. There's a lot of motivate shenanigans going on. Ooh, we finished it off. Perfect. Very, very nice. But yeah, a lot of rambling at the beginning of the video, but just kind of summarizing my thoughts. It does feel like there's a current negative sentiment going on around the game, and I can definitely understand why a lot of the events are not as fun to play. So just kind of dealing with what we got. All right, we only draw into our athletics, so that's not too great. We'll just combo, just because. Why not? We'll play Luan again. All right, we're getting kind of yoinked here. Wow, they're... Uh... Can we hold on, actually? Can we break through, or do we just go down? Let's find out. As long as they don't do motivate. Well, we need some cripple. We do have Cripple, but I don't think this is enough, so I think we actually end up losing here. No, but we have Cripple with one-man band. Hold on, this may be enough. Nah, I did the laggy animation, which I hate that that's in the game, but... Uh, yeah, that means we didn't get it here. So they play Motivate. Yep. And we just skip. Get another PC wall. And that is... On to our next battle. I think it's our final one next, I believe. Let's see, we got... Day one, already getting some big ticket items. This is definitely going to be PhD Peggy. Uh, I have no idea why we're drawing into this mountain bike so heavily. Actually, I might have more in here than I thought. I think I did actually put a decent amount of mountain bike in. I keep, I was mixing up what combo I thought I had in there. Uh, I guess we'll do training Luan. We're already gassed. So we will punch back and we'll have some hijacks. So that's good. Against some CM5 SIG addicts. We'll hijack that. And we'll do Luan. We need a punch up here. Will we get it? We do get it. Very thankful for that. Uh, we'll get punched by Cotton. I see. But we'll do Derby Brawling Luan. Back to Cotton here, which is a good counter. 
They're going to have cotton again, it looks like. So, yeah, we'll prep a another Luan. This slot's close to going down. Let's see where the punches go. They both punch this first slot, which they're looking like they're going to. Yep, the AI gets all the advantages there. Trying to take out our first slot. It's not going to be enough, though. We're going to counter it right back. Gas that. They got their own Derby Brawling Luan, but just a PC. Should be close to keeping this under control here. Yep, that's gas. Both are crippled. Plenty of hijack from those. And we will do training Luan. Just for some punch. And I think we got this under wraps. It's pretty good. Yeah, and all these have hijacks, so none of that gas gets through. Uh, we should be close to taking it. Maybe just one more. Yeah, let's just do this. Well, maybe we are crippled down just enough. So we, we kill everything off, but now we're not crippled. And so we are good. We'll just throw another Luan down. And that'll be A-OK. -okay. Nice. And we take it. That should be our final battle. And it is. Not sure what our score comes out to be. A little bit lower than max. 15, 7, 6, 1. Yeah, not the top 16, 4, 9, 1. That's all right. Not too bad of a start for day one. And we have an okay Luan deck. So all in all, not a bad first day. I appreciate you guys tuning back in to watch. And also, I'll keep you guys updated on how I'm going to approach AT and the videos going forward uh, with the kind of loss of players in the community and the kind of loss of sentiment plus the change up and the restructuring of the staff. I'm not quite sure how much effort is still going to go into the game as well as how many people are still going to be around. So I may be looking to phase out of doing quite a lot of AT videos. I've really enjoyed uploading and I still do like doing that. What are your guys' thoughts? Are you still hanging around? Are you still playing the game? Do you think the sentiment is fine? Please let me know. I love to talk with you guys. And I'm still in the Discord as well, so you can catch me there. But I will catch you guys for a date two tomorrow. Peace out.